G'day motorheads and welcome to the video and welcome to the Yamaha R7. So you might be wondering why I've got another R7 on this channel. Well, I'm going to tell you the exact reason why right after this. So you may be wondering why I have another R7 on the channel. Well, this is my bike. This is my new ride. I'm the proud owner of a brand new Yamaha R7. So I'll take you through some of the reasons why I actually chose the R7. Um, back a couple of years ago when I test rode one when they first came out, it really impressed me. And it lit the spark to me for exploring and owning a sports bike. I really like the look of the R7. The angles and the way it sits on the road, even from its side on profile, as you can see here. I've always really liked the Yamaha brand. I fell in love with when I first spotted the 2009-2012 Yamaha R1. Uh, I think 2009 when they introduced that look and 2012 when they introduced the the four-cylinder cross-plane crank engine. So I also did explore the option of getting a second-hand R1, but I could just never really find anything on the market for its price and its condition that I was happy with. But I do think that a mid-size sports bike would probably best suit my riding style. I did wait for the Daytona 660 to come out so I could give that a test ride. And that is a brilliant bike with a brilliant engine. But it also, it's a three-cylinder engine, which I'm used to being a street triple owner. So I did want to try something and experience something with a bit of a different engine configuration, I guess. So hence why I kept thinking and deciding and kept coming back to the Yamaha R7. All right, so I'll just take you over, uh, just quickly show you. I've got a couple of things obviously fitted before I left the dealership. So if you can see there, I've got the, the tank pad there so zippers and stuff don't scratch it. Um, and I also got a radiator guard, an EvoTech radiator guard. I don't know, I'm hoping you can see that up under there. Uh, just to protect the radiator. Who knows why bikes don't come with it already fitted, but anyway. So yeah, that's just a couple of things I've got done. There'll be more coming over time. Uh, more add-ons and stuff. I've already got an idea and a bit of a parts list what I'm going to do. But it, uh, some might be performance, some is going to be purely bling. Some I think now I may do and it may not eventuate. I'm just going to see how things go. But really, for the time being, it's a matter of just getting on this bike, getting to know it and enjoy it and really ride it. And just, yeah, have fun with it. I have done review videos on the channel on this because this is the high output as well as the Lambs version of the R7 and I'll link them in the description below, you can check them out. Yeah, pretty happy with this purchase I'd have to admit but uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of getting out, riding it and just enjoying it. So guys, that was just a quick little update on my new ride, the R7. I'll be so curious to see what you guys think. So please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You may also be wondering what I plan on doing with my other bike, the Red Devil, my Triumph Street Triple. Well, it's still part of my life, it's still part of my garage and it's definitely gonna be still a part of this channel. So guys, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and I'll see you on the road.